an old low cow has emerged. She's come back with a force, with a vengeance. Of course, I'm talking about Maddox. Maddox put out the almost three hour long documentary about what a jerk Dick Masterson is. Now he's a big fat meanie, but genie, <laughs> he doesn't like him very much. And so Maddox, just a couple of days ago, did an AMA. Ask him anything. Let's find out what we can learn about Maddox. And I got to tell you, I don't know what his strategy is here. I was actually messaging with Dick and Sean today. I think that Maddox thinks that he's going to win us over. That we're going to be like, yeah, you know what? Maddox is really the good guy in this one. Screw that dick guy. He's a jerk. Because otherwise, it doesn't make any sense that he's trying to get everyone riled up again, talking about him again. This is all the stuff that brings him misery that he's complaining about nonstop. But I just want to prove to you what a bitch he is. And the way he treats his viewers is the same way Stuttering John treats his viewers. A lot of these locals just assumes everyone's an idiot. They're the only smart person. Because a lot of these people have the same traits. Narcissism is right at the top of the list. And so Maddox says, all right, we're doing a Q&A, you know, AMA, whatever you want to call it. But there are two rules. And listen to him explain these okay, rules. Okay, anyway, so rule number one, no questions will be answered from people who haven't watched the documentary. Self-explanatory. You want your, you want, you think you have something important to say, watch the documentary. If you have something to say afterwards, then I'll answer your question. Even if it's critical. I don't care if you criticize me or the documentary or anything like that. But by the way, if you ask me a question, I'm going to ask you a question as well. Because I have some questions. Trust me, I have some questions. Um, okay, we have to watch your stupid movie. Says, what else? Did Dax ever show signs of his behavior with Craigslist guys when he was with you? Uh, there was some really creepy Focus shit one time with a girl on Tinder. What's the other rule? Um, okay, number rule number two. The uh, the second the second question I'm uh, the second rule the second ground rule is no loaded uh -huh. questions. No, I don't know if you guys know what that is. Do you know what a loaded question is? No, explain it. I know it, it sounds like a very simple question, but I think I'm talking to a lot of simple people. Jesus. So I need to explain what, what a loaded asshole. question is. He's gonna win is. all of us over with a this. A loaded question is if you ask somebody a question, say, for example, here's a, here's an example of a loaded question. Here we go. Why is pepperoni pizza your favorite? So in the question you're making. Objection! <laughs> <laughs> what a dick question. <laughs> That was his no example. pun intended. That's, Sorry. That's his example of this. Wow. That's loaded? Hold on. Yeah. That's he's, not loaded? No, he's going to explain it. I, I know the meat lovers is actually more loaded. No, but loaded baked potato is more loaded. <laughs> Why are you so You're gay? Making That's a loaded about question. <laughs> what their favorite kind of type of uh, pizza topping is. A better question, a non-loaded version of that question is, do you like pepperoni on pizza? All right, so no loaded questions. You Thanks for dumbing that down for us, dummy. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. Oh, much fuck. appreciated so what was cool about this is as he's doing this live ama dick saw that he was doing this so he went on live on his channel and was telling people questions to ask maddox because dick had like five times the number of people watching him as maddox has watching him and i don't know if this came from dick specifically might, might have but uh, i think this is a pretty good question cody forrester says dax has a copy uh copy cat that harasses stuttering John. Would you ever do a guest appearance on John's podcast and give him his, uh, get him on as a support? Dax has a copycat that harasses stuttering John. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh fuck you, asshole! You don't know <laughs> what he's talking about. You don't know they're talking about me. I have a theory on this. There's no way Maddox doesn't know what he's talking about. I have a theory on this. I think that Maddox doesn't want to make people aware of how many people are successful and hate him. Because it would ruin his case. If you're just like, well, you got a problem with Dick, but then there's also these people who think you suck and they're doing pretty well. Yeah. And these people think you suck and they have an audience and this person and that guy over there. So he has to be like, yeah, I don't know who these people are. People ask him about Vito. He's like, yeah, I don't know. I think Vito probably just, you know, he'll figure it out eventually that Dick's a dick and all this stuff. It's just like, you're not being genuine. At least he's not taking the approach where he's promoting you actively like john would do that's true when he was going yeah. back at you he's taking a slightly better approach but i noticed on the bottom he's promoting his social media and for some reason he's promoting threads i didn't know that still existed but he has no twitter anymore why is he off twitter oh i wonder if it's uh because of that big mini Mo bogini elon musk who always wants that free speech and stuff you know trump's back so maybe that's it but it's uh, a, yeah man it's a political this is... stance 
like pathological behavior. These types of stalkers who are, who become obsessed like this, it becomes pathological. Six fucking years is insane. I guess he was talking about me. I'm pathological. All right, here's another just really quick short one. But I just thought this would be good since I know John watches my show. You'd want to hear this. Yeah, sure. I remember studying John from Howard Stern. I don't know much about him since. Uh, Malware says, do you regret doing not doing a Patreon for Biggest Problem? No. All right. So I think that sounded like a yes. I think that he will team up with Stuttering John and do a show together. Wow. Something to look forward to. John could use a friend. Oh, definitely. They're both a, out in a, L.A. A temporary they, friend. They both hate Carl. They both hate me. They got something <laughs> in common already. Oh, yeah. somebody, somebody super chat Maddox how he feels about the shit wear. We could have <laughs> yeah, right. a Get that going too. Here. <laughs> they also both like Coors Light. Oh, no shit. There's a lot of things here they could do. So then Maddox brings up my buddy Larry. Larry Blinder from that Larry show. Larry's a friend of WATP. We've uh, collaborated mm-hmm. on a number of things. And I was a little surprised uh, to hear this coming from Maddox because everyone loves Larry. I want to tell you guys a Larry story. So this is kind of interesting. I want to I show you guys um, show you guys something with Larry. So Larry, for those of you who don't know, which is fucking everyone because no one knows who, who that guy is. Whoa. Um, there's this guy, Larry Blinder, that fanboy introduced me to. And at first I thought he was like a decent dude. He seemed He seemed like an all right guy. But Again, way John back is when, while way doing back show. in the day, I'm gonna pause it. This, this is gonna be. You guys got to hear this. So, so way back in the day when, we, when I first started yeah. my my uh, podcast, I know uh, that stupid crown. He, he insists on wearing that. And it looks terrible with the reflection. I've never seen him before. This. Like I'm having uh, a, the Jerry Banfield experience that Lucy oh, had. No I didn't know he this looks, is what he looked like. He looks so regal. <laughs> yeah right it looks like he's just came from a burger king yeah it's not an impressive i respect him more now because of the crown <laughs> right yeah so he's the king all right so this is his uh larry blydner story here audio but this is larry blydner the guy who used to do like uh oh well okay that's where he starts playing larry's show and he claims that it sucked and he says he has the personality of triscuits he says about Larry Blinder. He's a very thoughtful guy. Does a very good show that I enjoy quite a bit. So um, I he's just making friends all over the place, this Maddox guy. This, though, is the clip I have to play for you guys. This is the most ridiculous thing that he says. So anyone who knows uh, Dick Masterson or has hung out with him or uh, seen him at our live shows or his live shows, you would know how ridiculous this is. Cantool says, who would win in a fist fight between you and Dax? Uh, me. Let's see. He thinks he would win in a fist fight <laughs> against Dick Masterson. That's insane. That's one of the funnier things that he's well, ever said. He's the king. Well, that's true. That's true. So maybe his servants will will help him out or something. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T-P. 